Hey everybody, this is Joe Leonard with GeoVision. Today's demo video will go over the AS Manager software and how to create schedules, create access groups, add new users to the AS Manager database, and also assign users to schedules. There are a couple different methods that allow you to add in users and connect them to access groups and schedules, and I will go over both options. First thing that you'll want to do is create a time zone, and you'll want to go into the setup and hit time zones, and this is where you're going to program the hours that you want that user to be able to access a door. Now, in a minute, we will create a weekly schedule uh, as well as an access group, but first, we're going to go in and hit the plus sign, and you can just name it whatever you want. We'll call this one employees and hit OK. And let's say that, for example, you want uh, employees to have access to the door with their credential from 8 a.m. to maybe 1700. So you're going to drag and create your schedule right there and hit OK. The next step you'll want to do is go into weekly schedules. This is where you're going to set what days of the week you want that time zone that you just created to apply to. So under weekly schedules, you're going to go in and again, you're going to create a weekly schedule. We'll just hit the green plus sign, add. We're going to keep it consistent here and just name it employees. Hit OK. And on the right, for the days of the week, you'll click the drop down and select that employees time zone that you just created for the days of the week that you want them to have access to the door. The other days that you do not select, such as the weekends here, they will just have denied access to the, those doors for the entire day. You hit OK once you're done. The next step, you'll want to go in uh, and create a access group. So you'll go to Setup and Access Groups. And what we're going to do, we already have one created here for employees. Um, to create a new one, you can just click New, and you can just name your group right here. We'll call this one Employees 2. On the drop-down, you can go in and you can find the schedule that you just made. So we'll select Employees. And once you hit X on here, it's going to go ahead and save this access group. So now we've created schedules and access groups, and we have the ability now to where we can go in and we can a, assign a card and a user, and then take those cards and users and assign them to access groups. One method of how you can add a user to a card would be simply to present a credential to a reader. This can be either a reader that's out in the field at a door, or it could be an enrollment reader that's connected to the AS Manager machine. When you first present the card, it's going to say access denied invalid card. And you do have the option to right click and hit new slash edit card. When you're in here, you will want to go to this section right here, the little icon of the person, click that, and you'll want to hit assign a new user. This is very straightforward. You can just type in the name and you can get very detailed with this if you want. Um, you are able to change how it displays, whether it's last name first and then first name, or if you want to flip it to the other way around, you can do that. You can go in and you can select gender, birth date, ID, and there's some tabs along the top here where you can add some more information if you would like. If you would allow, uh, be interested in adding a pre-enrolled picture of that cardholder, that user, you can click right here to navigate within Windows. And if you have, say, a headshot of that person, select it, hit open, and every time that person pre presents their credential to the reader, uh, it is going to show that pre-enrolled picture there in the card log. So you'll hit OK once you get your uh, user created there. And you're going to hit uh, activation date. You can select today's date, or if you want it to go into effect um, further down the road, you can. And then down below here, you're going to want to select the access group that you created earlier. So let's say that that is an employee. Um, you're going to go ahead and put them in the employees group. And as you can see down below, it, it updates my door to where that uh, employee has access to that specific door we assigned them to. Hit OK. So that is one way to go ahead and create a user and add them into an access group. 
Another option is you can manually create a user and then assign them to a card. So to do that, you're going to go into Personnel and hit Users. And you just simply hit New. And then you can just type in the name of your user. We'll call this user Joe Smith. Hit Enter. And right here on Cards, you're going to click the plus sign. You can either add a card if you already have all of your cards imported into the database. Or if you want to hit Add a New Card, you can manually type in your card number. Again, select your activation and deactivation date. If, if applicable. And then under access group, again, you're going to want to select your access group. Hit OK. Again, you can select a picture to add if you want. Hit OK there, and now we have our second user in the database. Now, once I present my credential to the reader, it should show up and it shows access granted. If you see down in the bottom right-hand corner, our pre-enrolled picture is shown there. And if you have a camera, mounted next to your door and you want to associate it with the reader, you can have it set up to where a snapshot from that camera will appear every time the credential is presented to the reader. This has been an overview of creating schedules and adding users to the AS Manager software. For further information, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.